Habibi, uh, co-founder and CEO of Cognitivity, it's been out from Cambridge University, the real one in the UK. Uh, we have an AI solution to early uh, and preclinical diagnosis of uh, dementia. We're talking about the biggest healthcare challenge of 21st century, uh, costing the world a trillion dollars today. Uh, within the challenge of dementia, we have a huge problem with diagnosis. Currently, half of people never receive diagnosis. And those who receive it, receive it so late that it's already too late and they're disabled and cost a lot of money. Uh, Alzheimer Association recently published a report um, reporting that if people with dementia in the US, that they're not diagnosed today, they receive diagnosis, 7.9 trillion, I repeat that, trillion US dollar can be saved. So there is a huge unmet need within diagnosis of dementia. This is because our diagnostic methodology has not changed since the discovery of disease over 100 years ago. We asked memory questions then, we're asking memory questions today. Uh, these tests used at primary care and secondary care have got serious shortcomings, such as uh, accuracy, uh, accuracy limitation. Uh, they, are, they have learning bias, education bias, uh, as well as language. We have developed a test using latest neuroscience, which is uh, a software solution uh, delivered via Apple iPad. This was not achievable previously due to uh, weaknesses of hardware. Now we have ultra-precise hardware ca which can deliver the timings that we need for, uh, for this uh, solution. We use cloud server uh, solution, which makes it widely um, spreadable and uh, scalable. And uh, it can be integrated within the existing electronic health records, which is really important. Let's look at the test in action. The picture on the right shows a gentleman taking a test. The picture on the left shows the test being taken, a point of view of the subject. Let's walk you through what you just saw. In the course of five minutes, we show around 100 images to the subjects. Every image varies in complexity and level of information inside. And the response time to these images and accuracy of the responses are collected, based on which we build a profile of responses. And then we use our artificial intelligence engine to compare this with our historical data. The reason animals are important is because through millions of years of evolution, human brain has evolved to be very sensitive to images of animals. This is for good reasons, because we either had to run away from them or run after them. This is a key part of our patent. Why is it sensitive? Our brain is the most uh, sophisticated biological phenomenon. It is very complicated and it's hard to uh, uh, measure its output. It has the ability to mask its problem for a very long time. That's why our dementia patients can go for 20, 25 years without showing any symptoms. And one day they wake up and they can't remember their children's name. Our test is very sensitive. Based on that little demo that you saw, uh, the test is uh, very challenging. It gets large parts of the brain and key parts of the brain activated in a very short time, which makes masking problems very, very difficult. This is an fMRI uh, representation of a brain of a subject while taking a test. And you can see you've got visual cortex, frontotemporal, and motor cortex, and hippocampus, large volumes of them. Uh, actively engaged. We have established con construct validity with existing gold standards. There are pen and paper cognitive tests out there, some of which take half an, hour, half an hour of a GP time to be taken. And in a five minutes simple test without requiring any uh, healthcare professional, we have established very similar correlations. Uh, the interesting observation is that the top left corner shows a test called BICAMPS. This test is the most advanced and complicated and longest test available, and we've got even better correlation with that one. 
Uh, enough of science. Let's walk you through the business model and uh, ways we are going to uh, com commercialize this technology. The first one is primary care. Last year, uh, in the US alone, we had 210 million visits by people above age 65. Each of these can be a testing point for us. We see this being uh, as part of annual checkup test that everyone takes above a certain age, and as soon as there is a problem, referrals are made. Full-on diagnostic, diagnostic at secondary care is another huge potential. Moving from medical uh, products, we have a health application as well. We recently signed an agreement with a company which provides the biggest health insurers in the world uh, in order to provide mental health monitor. This, is like, this works like a scale. You stand on and you see if you've spent time in the gym, if you've lost weight or not. If you have a healthy lifestyle and do brain exercises, et cetera, et cetera, you can check whether that has, has had an impact on your brain health. Uh, we are having trials in concussion and uh, contact sports, which is another huge market. The last one is drug development. Um, since 2004, we have had no drugs having FDA approval. 650 trials have failed, uh, and that has cost over $100 billion. One reason for this is that there is no sensitive and objective measurement tool available to see whether the drugs are working or not. We are asking memory questions from subjects who are on the tr uh, drug trial courses. And you can imagine, if you ask a question from uh, your participant, and six weeks later, while they're on the course of treatment, the same questions, they might answer the questions right, but not necessarily their health has improved. They just learned how to answer those questions. Uh, we have got global patents uh, granted. This includes North America, China, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. We've completed successful trials um, that, that, that basically give us uh, courage to start our um, final validation trial at uh, uh, London South, London at Mosley Hospital, which is the biggest mental health R&D hospital in Europe. Uh, we're expecting to complete this trial by the end of uh, this year and file for FDA. We have had a pre-submission to the FDA and received very favorable response from them. Uh, we're expecting commercial launch to happen in 2019. Thank you for your attention.